kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church learning, learning all about Jesus a kids church kids church kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church growing closer to Jesus a kids church Kids Church Kids Church Hi kids, welcome to Kids Church. Good to have you again. I'm just looking right now at, uh, at the Bible reading that you're going to hear in a little bit. It's kind of a long one, but it won't be super long. And I think it's kind of exciting, but maybe a little confusing too, because it talks about Jesus. Well, they all talk about Jesus, don't they? But this one talks about the power Jesus had. Hmm. Now, I don't know if you like superheroes. I think superhero movies can be really fun, and I'm kind of an old guy, so when I was a little kid, I used to like watching Superman because it was on TV, and Superman was a superhero because he could fly and he could do all kinds of other things. And mostly what Superman did was he, he, kind, of, he kind of stopped bad guys and he kind of beat them up and make sure that they didn't hurt anybody. Well, Jesus shows some really, really superpowers. Now, he doesn't do any flying around, but he's got superpowers like you can't believe because, well, Jesus is, is God as well as man, a human being like us. So I want you to pay attention to what Jesus does with his superpowers, his God power. He uses it to help people. He uses it to show how much he loves people. Even people who have nothing going for them, people who are really having a hard time. Actually, he loves them so much that you almost think he loves them best of all. But don't ever think he doesn't love you. Listen to the music, listen to the prayers, listen to the Bible reading, listen to the lesson from Mr. Ken, and I guarantee you'll be reminded again of how much Jesus loves you. Good to see you, kids. Hope to see you again next week. Goodbye. Here's the reading. A reading from the book of Luke. Jesus went to Capernaum, a city in Galilee. On the Sabbath day, he taught the people. They were amazed at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man who had an evil spirit from the devil inside him. The man shouted loudly, Jesus of Nazareth, what do you want with us? Did you come here to destroy us? I know who you are, God's Holy One. But Jesus warned the evil spirit to stop. He said, be quiet, come out of the man. The evil spirit threw the man down on the ground in front of everyone. Then the evil spirit left the man and did not hurt him. The people were amazed. They said to each other, what does this mean? With authority and power, he commands evil spirits and they come out. And so the news about Jesus spread to every place in the whole area. Jesus left the synagogue and went to Simon's house. Simon's mother-in-law was very sick. She had a high fever. They asked Jesus to do something to help her. He stood very close to her and ordered the sickness to go away. The sickness left her and she got up and began serving them. When the sun went down, the people brought their sick friends to Jesus. They had many different kinds of sicknesses. Jesus laid his hands on each sick person and healed them all. Demons came out of many people. The demon shouted, you are the son of God. But Jesus gave a strong command for the demons not to speak because they knew he was the Messiah. The next day, Jesus went to a place to be alone. The people looked for him. When they found him, they tried to stop him from leaving. But he said to them, I must tell the good news about God's kingdom to other towns too. This is why I was sent. 
Then Jesus told the good news in the synagogues in Judea. This is the word of the Lord. Here's the music. Here's the music. <laughs> My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the trees. He made the seas, he made the elephants too. He made the trees, he made the seas, he made the elephants too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the skies are His handiwork too. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the skies are His handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Mercy, mercy, He reigns in love. Gently, sweetly, He calls from heaven above. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do. Hey, whoa, look at that. Hey, oh, hi everybody. How are you? Uh, do you like books and movies and cartoons and stories? Aren't they fun? Well, they can make you laugh or cry or just wonder. And stories are either uh, true stories or made up and make believe. And generally, stories have a main character, often a hero. Well, guess what book is loaded with true stories of real heroes, especially the greatest hero ever? Well, that book is the Bible. Yes, it's all here. Oh, you say, what's a hero? What makes a hero a hero? Well, a hero can look like anyone. A hero can be from anywhere. A hero can be any age, boy or girl, and from any part of history, as well as now. A real hero is a hero because of what good they do in the real world. So, what famous hero do we know of? There sure are a lot of them these days, especially when we're kids, we hear of them a lot. Ever heard of Superman or Batman or Wonder Woman? Or the Hulk? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, they're heroes, right? Sort of. They're sort of heroes. But they're made up. They're imagined and they're not real. The stories that involve these characters <laughs> are make-believe. They're for fun! But they're not real in a real world. Sorry. Make-believe heroes are not as good as the real thing. What about some other heroes then? Like mom and dad and your family and friends and people who serve or protect or heal or bless. They are all real and they're true heroes. Even though they don't fly or have superhuman strength or do stuff like Superman or Wonder Woman. But remember, heroes are people who do really good things. And moms and dads and 
family and friends, they do really good things. And that's why we should appreciate them and be thankful for the good that they do. However, there is another hero, the hero of all heroes, who is the greatest ever, and we find him in the Bible. Who can guess who is the greatest of all heroes? Yes, I think I heard someone say, Jesus. That's right. Jesus is the hero of the Bible. And the Bible talks about him coming. And then the Bible talks about when he arrives. And the Bible talks about what he does in his life on earth. And then the Bible talks about when he dies, but rises again from the dead, and he goes to heaven. Which means... Jesus is still alive. That's the special thing. It's all for real. The Bible story of Jesus is a true story of a real person and what he's done and said. These actual events make Jesus the greatest hero of all time. Well, today's Bible reading described just some of the amazing things that Jesus did. He heroically cast out evil spirits, and then he moved on to another place, and then there was a woman with a horrible fever, so bad that she had to lay down. She couldn't get up, but Jesus just talked to the fever and said, go away. <laughs> and it did, instantly. The woman got up, and she started to make food for her visitors. Jesus only said, get up. Well, I think doctors are wonderful, right? I think they are heroes. But who can just tell a fever to go away? Later on, Jesus healed many other people that were brought to him. He cured all the illnesses and diseases, and he even cast out more, more demons. The witnesses were amazed. Wouldn't you be? I would be amazed if I saw that. Well, the Bible says Jesus spoke with authority, that is, he knew he had the power, and his results were absolutely amazing every time. What a hero Jesus is. He's done so much actual good in the real world. His acts of love are generous beyond our imagination. He is the ultimate hero, and as our ultimate hero, Jesus is the most merciful, he's the most giving, he's the most sacrificing, he's the most humble and powerful, and he's the most unfailingly loving hero. Jesus is the perfect, pure, and complete hero. Beyond any hero we could ever dream up. Remember, Jesus is also almighty, as he is God along with the Father and the Holy Spirit. He has no weakness at all. There is no darkness in him. Wow, right? Wow. It sounds like there should be a book about him. Whoa! Hey, there is. It sounds like there should be songs about him, and yes, there are. Well, maybe we should try to be close to Jesus and love him as our Lord. Well, guess what? Millions of people all over the world do accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We're all living a real life, aren't we? Oh, hey, I felt that. Real life as real heroes. And they're all around us doing good, showing love. Jesus tells us, well, we should try to see all the good going on around us and join in to do good too. As we can see, Jesus is our best advisor, and he is our comfort, because who else is so forgiving? Altogether, Jesus is the true hero of all time. He lives, even now, to lead us and save us, because he is our God. He is our loving God. He is true God, real hero, who loves us the most. Mm -hmm. It's all here. It's all here. Well, let us hold our hands and bow our heads to pray. Thank you, Lord God, for Jesus, Jesus in our lives. Thank you for the wonders that he has done 
and the love he has shown that is beyond our imagination. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's blessings, everyone. More news and music. Walking on the water, what is that God cannot do? Walking on the water, what is there God cannot do? Heal the deaf and the mute, cause the lame to walk. Fed thousands with leftovers, told the storm to stop. Filled nets with fishes, healed every illness and disease. Miracle after miracle, all with humility. Walking on the water, what is there God cannot do? Walking on the water, what is there God cannot do? We sort of paralyzed man from miles away with but a word, many were healed by the faith. I am the truth, the life and the way, says, and he came back as promised. Risen from the dead Oh yeah Walking on the water What is there God cannot do? Walking on the water What is there God cannot do? I sat to the black Water and the wine Nothing is impossible for God may be saved by the gift of grace nothing is impossible for God walking on the water what is there God cannot do walking on the water what is there God cannot do nothing is impossible for God Quick question here. Jesus is the greatest hero of all time. True or false? Hmm. Jesus is the greatest hero of all time. True or false? Of course the answer is true. Jesus is the greatest hero of all time. Did you know that? And now... Where's Pierre now? Can anybody tell me where's Pierre? That's right. He's near the stairs helping organize shoeboxes that are given away as gifts to other children in other parts of the world. He's being a hero. <laughs> kids church in the arms of Jesus. Kids church walking with the Lord. Kids church learning learn more about Jesus. Jesus. A kids church. Kids Church, Kids Church, in the arms of Jesus, Kids Church, walking with the Lord, Kids Church, growing closer to Jesus, at Kids Church, Kids Church, Kids Church.